What's going on everybody? It's Matt from Night and Day Performance back with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be on this 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat that we're working on for our customer who brought it to us after the dealership failed him horribly. Once again, it's not anything new. The dealership has failed its customers. Um, if you're not a warranty customer, if you're not a customer who has a vehicle that's being repaired under warranty, don't take your car to the dealership. There's one big reason why. Dealerships are focused on troubleshooting based on the warranty paying for parts. They don't really think about the fact that customers have to actually pay for these parts. Whenever you have a warranty job, think of it this way. If they say your car is misfiring and they change the spark plugs, uh, Dodge pays for the spark plugs under warranties for, per se. This is just an as if. Um, if it's not that and it's something else and then they need the coil packs, then they'll submit that and Dodge will pay for the coil packs. And then if it's the wiring harness, they'll submit that and Dodge will pay for that. Instead of finding the pinpoint issue, Dodge techs usually are just going to replace whatever they feel is causing the problem because it doesn't affect anything. It gets paid for by Dodge. No big deal. The problem becomes when you're out of warranty and they try these same things. This situation is not like that, but it's basically a rush job. I don't even know how this got passed. Somehow this customer went to the dealership to get his spark, uh, his spark plugs changed. He was at the 60,000 mile interval. He got the notification from Dodge. Hey, you should change your spark plugs on your Hellcat. He brought it in for oil change and spark plugs. No big deal. As soon as he picked up the car, it felt weird. It was running a little odd. It had a slight stutter. Um, and he brought it up to the technicians and they said, well, we're booked right now. We won't be able to get your car back in for another week or two. We don't have any loaner cars for you. So you'll have to come back later. The customer just continued to drive on the car and said, okay, maybe it's okay until it got to the point where it was misfiring bad. It started to shake and, and he knew something was wrong. He called us and brought it to us. Come to find out the dealership put the wrong plugs in. They put Bosch plugs in, which are not even recommended or authorized for Mopar dealerships to use. Um, we always use NGKs. Uh, Champions are something that is used on the older Hemis. The newer ones, they all run NGK laser iridiums. It's just what we always do. But they threw Bosch plugs in, still charged him the higher price that they would for the NGK plugs. And they charged this man over $1,000 to change the plugs and the oil um considerably over that and it wasn't right and they made him deal with it that's why i said if you don't want to get screwed over like that go to people that care about your car people that love cars people that work on them daily give us a shout night and day performance 7409a right road houston texas if you're in the area uh, let us know if you have questions or if you want any advice feel free to reach out to us and we'll talk to you about whatever you have going on our website, uh, www.nightanddayperformance.com. You can find some more information on there. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share down below. Thanks for watching the video. You guys have a great day.